cover. Okay, we're going to paint the bulldozer today, but I got some help. We need it covered. I got some help here. You can use your other hand. You paint how Yeah, you paint your other, use your other hand if you need to. You use it how you like it. I just showed you how to do it, though. Yeah, but we need it covered. Well, you cover it with paint first. My grandkids, I give them a job painting the dozer. What's your guys' names? One at a time. What's your name? Painting. What are you doing today? Painting. What, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Yeah. What are you painting? Um, bulldozer. Bulldozer? Yeah. It's better if you do it like this way. Yeah, but don't get it on your shoes. I got it on my shirt. Don't do that. Don't get it on your clothes. Kind of part of Oh, you got a speck on your shoes because you got it dripping off here. You need to uh, take your paintbrush and do this and make it look good. I told you if you use in, look how much neater it looks. I'm going to go show your brother now because he's kind of... Wait a minute, brother. You got a bunch of globs there. Those need to be spread out evenly. Like that. You use your end of your paintbrush, it'll look better. Okay? Okay. And you can go like this. Watch. You can go this way and then and bring I, it back like I this. this. Can I paint this? Can I paint this? Oh, yeah. It's looking good this? now. And look. Can we can I... see through it. We can still see the metal. So you don't want to paint that again. Paint the whole thing with a light coat where you can still see through it. And then when it dries, we'll paint it again. It's not coming off. I want the whole thing painted, except for the motor. Paint everything. I got the fly painted. That's okay. Keep painting it. Don't paint that yet. Paint the sides. Finish this fender. Finish this. And then you go back there and paint that. All right, we'll come back and see how they've done on the dozer here in a little bit later. Tell everybody we'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later. Oh, here's the progress on my dozer. I wasn't. I already went and made a walk around, but I didn't have my camera on. My five-year-old grand twins were painting on it. Big blob of paint right there. Probably need to smear that out a little bit. All right, they're not doing bad to over five, right? I've been messing around with this uh, welder here. Just the next day, after my grand boys was painted on my dozer. I stuck it back in the shed it stays in and uh, kind of this day kind of got away from me I didn't get nothing done really except for going out to eat with my wife for lunch uh, there's what I'm gonna do now is uh, weld on a couple spikes on this hair loader this little tractor I got you seen me do this before I'm gonna cut me a couple pieces of pipe out of this hair oh gas line or water line I think it's a water line not sure I think it I know what's a water line come out of a look at that galvanized water line come out of a well huh. probably wasn't good for you but I'm gonna hook on to that and I mean I'm gonna cut a couple spikes out of that and uh, weld them on the front of that bucket so I can pick up some brush tomorrow I got a brush pile to pick up and a little bit of brush to mow with this uh, tractor. I was going to take my bigger tractor, but it's just too much to jack with right now. We're going to take my little, little white dump truck, this tractor, and my trailer. So let's get these pipes to cut. And I'm going to beat these with a hammer, maybe, so I can get me a point on it. I, or, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it happens. I probably should beat it right now. I'll get them cut first. 
them. I cut it about 27 inches, so I, or I got some sticking out here about 12, 14 inches to pick up with. Yeah. All right. I'll tape this so you guys see me get burned. I'll probably get freaking burned. Out here jacking around my shorts and tennis shoes. Cut my spikes that I'm gonna put on there for picking up some brush. I broke all my other ones. Hope I'm recording. I think I am, I can't quite see it. too thick. It's got about a eighth inch of a sidewall. Maybe a 316. I don't know what you call it. A little bit bigger than eighth inch. Would be a 316, right? 16, 16, be 18, eighth inch. I think it's 316 or an eighth inch wall. It'll be strong enough though. I'm just going to pick up some light tree limbs. Maybe a couple of logs. <laughs> Let's see how long I got her. See if I can do this one a little better. You make it hotter. I'll jack around. Line my porch up with a pipe. My porch handle.
good old galvanized cancer from that shit. I don't know what to do, Jimmy. Alright, those are my two things I'm going to stick on. They're going to be sticking out uh, with a 12 inch of pipe with a little 2 inch of uh, I'm going to beat the end of it so it's kind of like an angle so it can kind of slide stuff onto the pipe so it ain't a blunt end. Make it an angled end with a sledgehammer. That's all I'm going to do is beat it with a sledgehammer. Ha! She's a smoking. Alright, I got my pipes cut, so now I'm going to bring them over here and weld them onto this bucket. Unless I do something different. I'm going to look around and see if I got some metal to do a little bit different. I'd like to make a thing to bolt onto here so I can don't have to weld them on, so I can bolt them on and off. Alright, let me see if I got the metal to do that. A little hard on the ears. Baby. Oh, oh yeah, look for it. Getting her smashed. I might weld across there a little bit if I get her smashed all the way. Dang, it sucks. We're getting it though. I wonder if I can hold it. I wish I. See if I can do it this way. Oh, that's a heavy hammer. You guys take a 12 pound sledge and start swinging her. It's pretty heavy. Oh, she's looking good. That's pretty good. As good as I'm going to get it. I'll weld that across there. Ooh, it's getting hot. Then I'll, uh, I mean, a fork. She's going to go on here. Weld it onto my bucket. Weld it on about right. Right here. I'll have me about 14, 15 inches sticking out there. I'll just put a little weld back here on the back side. A couple on each side here. Just enough to hold it. You know, it don't take that much weld. I've welded some on here a bunch of times. I'm gonna cut it in half. Then I'll go from half and half. That's where I'm gonna do it. I'll measure my bucket right in the middle and then I'll measure from the middle to there and split that and that's where I'm going to put my fork. That looks pretty good. It's as good as I've ever had them, pretty much. I'll put a little weld across there to help hold that. And then I uh, will weld this baby on tomorrow. Maybe weld it in the morning. I might weld it here in a minute. I'm getting pretty close to the welding her on. So let me get the other one pounded down and uh, I better grab me a welding glove on that one. This old pipe's got a lot of lead in it probably. They're 
old, this is probably some 50, 60 year old pipe. Uh, let's just pound her down. A little better with my, got my leather gloves on. That'll work. I think I'll hit her right here. I don't know. That'll work good enough. I'll put a weld across there to hold uh, hold that in. Woo! I know it goes about right there. Tape measure at. My measuring tape at. Picked up this little table today. It's aluminum. I thought well, that's a pretty good thing to use when you're working somewhere and you want to lay some stuff on it with tools when you're outside or something. What the hell do I do with my tape? Well, let me find my tape and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's 48 inches from uh, this tip of this to this inside of this cutting edge here. 48, so we marked at 24. So now we got to mark it at 12. That's easy enough. It's right on there. We'll mark 12 here. some weld here I don't want to take off. I'm gonna set this one right in it where I had one before. This one close to the right around right there. They're gonna be very far apart are they? That's alright. Should we go further apart? I think we should go a little further apart. Like right here. There, I think I'm gonna go that far. Stop rolling. Damn it. Damn, you're hot. Right about there. About 30 inches apart. I need to make sure I leave enough room to get a welder in here. I don't want to have to weld it right there though. Right there and right there and right on the back of that piece of pipe. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to get a clamp. Clamp her down. Let me go get a couple of clamps and we'll clamp them where we want them. That way I'll have them right where we want them. Okay, fellas. Ladies. In the butt, get that on there. Damn it.
15 inches. Ouch, that's hotter than hell. That's good enough for that one. That'll work. My customers give me a bunch of these uh, lamps. That's pretty dang sweet ever. Sweet little thing. Sucks. Got a lot easier with square tubing, but I don't have square tubing. About ready to square it up for right with a sledgehammer. If I hit it with a hammer, though, it might take some of the quality out of it. No, I'm going wrong. Just can't do like your brother did on this side. <sighs> Man, I need to put some WD-40 in that damn bill there's what a swivel better. Yeah, it ain't holding right. It's pissing me off. Dirty. Getting down and dirty. <laughs> I <eat> mother. <clears throat> I just wanted to measure you, baby. Hold still so I can measure you. I'm gonna get some WD-40 and stick on that in that little swivel thing. Or some chain lube. I think I'll use some chain lube in this one. I don't kill myself in this dirty shop. That little swivel they got right there. Holy crap, now they probably just slip all over the place. That's really going to be slippery. See, I need to go that way about a mile. Uh, damn it. Went the wrong way. I just say the hell put it anywhere I can get it. It's called temporary because 
I think I do want to get me a deal where I can slip it on here and then bolt it in. And uh, make it where I can take it on and off a little easier without having to cut it. Well, bolt it on and off be a lot better. There we go. That's pretty good. It's not right right there though. That needs to be turned just bad. And I think it needs to come out quite a bit. Mm, inch. I'd almost live with it right there because I got it in its place. If I could tighten it up right there, I'd be so happy. Hey, I think I got it. Got to learn how to hold it. Hold your mouth this right. gotta come out this way. That'll be close enough. Actually that'd be close enough. Okay, let's see we got 27 inches here. Pretty much. Looks like that one's shorter, but it's near exactly the shorter. Okay, that'll work. I doubt if it works, but let me tack weld that a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna tack it tonight. Me some little short pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Need two more. I'm mean, gonna just go a bit two on each side of that piece of pipe so I get that gap filled in easier. Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. And all that. I'm going to cut four that are longer because I like that better. Let's see if I can use this piece, maybe. See how that's moving? It's gonna be hard to hold that and weld at the same time. I'm just gonna cut four long ones, put one on each side, then I can put some welds on it. That's gonna be a pain in the butt holding those short ones. I should have thought about that earlier. 
So I got some old used rebar here. I'll just get four of them here. Cut off some pieces. There's one that's kind of short already. Cut it in half, maybe. Let's see here. Now I want quite a bit of it. I'm going to cut that up right there. And then I'll have this much here. It'd be a lot easier to hold that in there and weld it in those little short pieces. So let's make uh, four of them this long. Almost screwed up. Trial and error, right? Or something like that. I'll just put a little there and a little there and a little there and a little there. I don't want it too much on it because I won't be able to get it off. Okay, let me cut uh, three more of that length. Sweet. This is some old rebar I pulled out of some landscaping. Yeah. It's got a bunch of dirt on it and rust. It don't have to be perfect. I know about where to cut that one. Right where the rest starts. Because it's falling down on my blade. Cut from the top, but I'm doing it because my sparks are going out this way instead of that way. I don't want to cast something on far inside the shop. I need one more. I need one more, fellas. Come on. Actually, 
Oh, yeah. Am I going to do it tonight, though? I think my wife might have texted me just now. Let me just see what I got here. Okay, so there you see how I'm doing it. I'm going to weld it. I could weld it right now. Let me see if I got time. See if Mama's going to let me. Oh, that ain't here. That's the customer. Yeah. Checks in the mail. Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, I'm going to smack a, a little tack on these so I can take my clamps off. I'm not to leave them outside all night. Thought my welders broke down, but that plug right there came loose. <clears throat> I'm just tacking it for the night. I'll finish it in the morning. I might come out tonight and finish it in the dark. <laughs> I may come out later tonight and finish this. Got nothing else to do. Can't sleep anyway. You're just gonna have to deal with it. That's just the way it is. About some hot girl with my boob showing, you wouldn't care. I'm just tagging it for the night. I'll weld a couple of better ones on it tomorrow. Let me weld this side a little bit. Got this side tacked. It ain't gonna move on me. No mouth. Let me tack that on, and I'll uh, gonna go in the house and get me something to eat. I'm hungry. Hopefully. Baby, I have to get knocked. 
get two more little tacks on it and I'm gonna go in. Finish it in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna come out tonight. I'm gonna come out here tonight and make some wild lights in the neighborhood. Some sparks and stuff. See if I can get the cops called on me. There's a bunch of wild lights going on outside. You need help. Gotta get that welder moving on me. stuck on there just tacked or tack welded on I'll finish them tonight we'll come back at her later and finish them tonight this video will be on tomorrow I'll go in and after I weld it and put this on YouTube this video is gonna have a little bit of the dozer painting and welding these two things on this uh, tractor I gotta get them welded on tonight because tomorrow morning just going to the job. We're gonna move some brush, big brush pile. Actually, that's the best I've ever put it on. I like it. When I take them off, I'll just grind these off on the bucket and keep these rebars welded to it. Then I'll get me a piece of flat metal and put across there and weld them to it and have it bent up or angle iron or something weld on the side and where I can bolt it to the side, maybe bolt it to the to the bo bottom of the bucket. Not sure about that. So, yeah, we'll see about that. May just leave it like this. I don't need it anyway. It can be my brush moving tractor. But it ain't tall enough. I'm gonna have to load and buy a dump truck in the back through the back because it's so. Uh, Unless I park it in the ditch, I might put my truck in the ditch. But this is only two wheel drive, then I wouldn't be able to back up. So, anyway, we'll be back out here later tonight and we'll weld this up. Alright, well, I gotta get off here. We'll come out here later tonight and weld that up. Oh my goodness, where's my hat? I need my hat. Whew. Come back out here later tonight and finish welding them. Uh, things on there <laughs> Them things all right gonna go get me something to eat i think my wifey's got something in there for me we'll talk to y'all later and uh i'll be seeing out here in a little while the welding tonight all right i'm back out at the shop I just got done eating my my wife had me a steak to eat i'm gonna run this uh just so you guys see my welder I'm running. I bought this back when I was 15 years old. I'm 54 now. It's a Miller Thunderbolt. AC welder. 225 volt. It's been ran really hard. I mean my brother used to put these big rods we got from my brother who works on the railroad. We got some big rods from him and there's my helper right there. Uh, Mr. Tin Man. He's got a wasp on his mask. But yeah, I'm gonna finish welding these all up and then I'm gonna go back inside. Put this on uh, my video for you guys for Sunday's vlog. So I'll get it out a little quicker. We don't have to have a welder in it, do we? We'll just do it right here. This would be good. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's 
some rods over here. I don't know how many it's going to take. I need to buy me a new box of rods. I'm getting kind of low. I guess I need to turn them on hook up my ground and stuff. My stuff's all tangled up. at my cleavage. Stinks. Need to quit breathing. Yeah, I hold my breath. Need me a fan. That's good enough. 90. That's not bad, actually. Oh, she's smoking. I'm going to leave those holes in there. Water come out then. It'll probably get packed full of dirt.
probably have me a second degree sunburn here in a minute.
to the end. <laughs> That's pretty good weld. Alright, let's go over here. See what we got left. Yeah, we got a couple three or four welds to do over here. pretty hot so I'm gonna let this cool off. Let my welder cool off for a little bit. Supposed to weld a little while then let your welder fan blow for a little while and cool it back down. And mine don't run, blow very hard so I can feel a little air coming out of it. See if I can hear it. I can feel there, I think. I hope I can. No. That's a hell of a deal there. I think you weld it in there. Good. Got a few more to go though. I'll leave that rebar on these. Then I'll be able to set them in there and pack them in next time. I'll just cut, I won't cut them off unless I got some kind of grading job. I need that bucket. I shouldn't need it. I can move mulch around with it like that. I don't like to pick mulch up though. I have to back drag it. Because you run this into a mulch pile, I don't want to move it. They ain't a very strong loader. It's a weekly. I'm going to go ahead and keep welding. Get it wrapped up. I'm going to get done. It's after 7 o'clock.
Take it out there and give it a test. with you guys in a minute. I'm gonna hook the uh, unhook the battery before I weld because uh, it'll burn up the the alternator system. So uh, let me hook it up and then we'll go out and uh, see. It. My weld ain't the greatest, but I think they'll hold. sloppy back there but I think they'll hold it we'll go out there and pick something up see what happens all right I'll be back with you here in a minute after when I get ready to uh, test her out got a little dinky battery a little bit bigger than a riding lawnmower in between a riding lawnmower and a vehicle
the negative side. That should do it. Get my old trusty piece of square tubing out of there. Alright, let's go see if she'll pick up something. Keeping on the shop, metal man. Ah, oh, I didn't bring my key, I don't think. Let me see. I guess I should have used the uh, roll cord. I don't like starting with that roll cord. Oh yeah, look at those forks pick up out there.
Ready to take that to, to the job tomorrow morning. Oh, drop the key. <laughs> All we gotta do in the morning is check tires, grab the diesel fuel tank, and my trimmers. I gotta take a trimmer, I gotta trim a couple of bushes. But yeah, those will hold up. Those. I hope that holds up. All I gotta do is load a little bit of brush. Actually, I'm taking the wrong truck. I gotta take this truck tomorrow. So I gotta unhook it. Turn it around, unhook it. And and put the hitch on that one and take it tomorrow. I forgot. Dang it. Because that's what I'm gonna load all the brush up in the back of. Yeah. Okay. That ain't no biggie though. I'm just gonna leave it here tonight. Take care of it in the morning. I'll talk to you guys through the window. Alright, well, talk to y'all later. <laughs> like and subscribe. See you in the morning. I'll uh, start my Monday blog in the morning and uh, have a Monday thing on. We got a pretty good job for Monday. I usually don't do a whole lot, but we got a pretty good one set up. Picking up a big brush pile. Well, it's just going to one loaded brush in my dump truck and cut up a tree that's fell over and uh, trim a couple of bushes. So that's a Monday blog. We'll see you later. This is Sunday. This is a Saturday and Sunday of uh, 16th and 17th, I think it is. I ain't got my phone. Well, I do got my phone on me. Let me see what the day is. I think it's the 17th. Oh, no. It's only the 10th. This was the uh, 9th and 10th, Saturday the 9th and Sunday the 10th of July. So, okay, I gotta get off here, I'm just rambling. We'll talk to y'all later. That's it for this one, dudes.